people i pray that you're blessed and highly favored so i'm about to run out and before i do i just wanted to do this quick video my name is kenesha berkeray and this is wealthy in god now today i really want to talk about something very sensitive now i have less than probably 10 minutes before the hubby starts telling me let's go so forgive me if i'm babbling but I promise you, you will not regret watching this video, okay? So, for five years, I asked God for increase. I asked him to help me, give me more money, blah, blah, blah. And for five years, I didn't see anything. And eventually, I started looking for the solution to my financial problems. And I found it. And so I want to give you an advice. Stop asking God for money when you are mishandling the little that you are getting. If you are working, if you are receiving any form of income and you are spending that money completely and you are not taking a percentage. And if you're desperate, I mean, at least 50 to 60 percent of that money and you are not putting it aside storing that money to invest that money in something <clears throat> that is going to increase you stop asking god for more god told us to be fruitful and to multiply to multiply is to take what you already have and to make more of it cause it to become more many of us we are we are taking what we have and we are dividing it we are decreasing we are not increasing we are decreasing in our health in our wisdom in our mental understanding and in our finances in life in general we have taken the little and we have decreased because we do not understand the principles of God. Now I'm here and I'm able to say this to you guys, not because I have a lot of words, but because I have experience. I found this to be true. I found that God was giving me little and I was wondering the little. And I got desperate and I searched for the answers, started reading a lot of books, rich dad, poor dad, what am I thinking? You know, think and grow big, think and grow rich as a man thinketh. You know, the richest man in Babylon, you can heal your life. I read them all. And I found out that I was the one who was mishandling the resources that I was given. Instead of increasing, I was decreasing. And so I want to give you some word of wisdom. Stop asking God for more when you are mishandling and mismanaging the little that he is giving you. Because if you read his word, there's only one thing that happens to people who are mishandling the little. The little that they have is taken from them. It is not my will. It is the will of God and the principle of God. If you do not stop and change your behavior, the little that you have will be taken from you. Whether you want to put that in the form of marriage, children, family, church, ministry, organization, if you mishandle it, it will be taken from you. I've learned this to be true. Mishandle your health. Mishandle your money. Mishandle your spouse. Mishandle your children mishandle life and it will be taken so i want to encourage you the areas in your life that you're disappointed in that you are sad about that you are not happy with really look and analyze it and make the necessary changes to make things better stop complaining it is not no one but you there are books on marriage there are books on finances there are books on parenting. There are books on being happy. There are books on life. Find a book, read the book, make the changes. God bless you.